not bad, yeah, honestly. I, I, I was like mad at you, but I actually had to turn like this just because. <laughs> 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 My neck is fucked up, y'all. Just uh, just for context, I might wild out today and end up in a in an emergency room. y'all what's up what's happening welcome back to the motherfucking culture this is kaizen to see you do this is amari ferrari uh i know y'all expecting us and ready for us to talk about the latest geopolitical issues the latest trending news with biden and what's happening with ai but no today we have bigger, bigger issues bigger issues <laughs> at the bigger same issues. time the we, world can wait future dropped an album as some would say bigger issues lord jesus oh no <laughs> But like for real, like y'all have seen us been talking about COVID vaccines. Y'all seen us talk about racism. Y'all seen us talk about petty issues like this. But today we're here to talk about the big things, the things that matter. The biggest news drop, if you haven't heard it, you're either living under a rock or you're Caucasian. Kendrick Lamar <laughs> dropped a, a diss on an album that everybody is very much looking forward to. Metro Boomin and Future dropped Two of the goats. We'll get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Metro Boomin and Future, the dynamic duo, the black man and Robin who yeah. don't like it is yeah. that man's yeah. problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. So they dropped an album, which, you know, just is, I think this is good for the culture. <laughs> just to spice it up, everybody woke up this morning and realized that not only did they drop the album, but there were some lyrics on here that were a little provocative. Provocative, yeah. They, they, they preheated the oven a little bit with a, a guest appearance by Kendrick Lamar. And I think for us and for anybody else, it doesn't really matter unless you understand the context of where this is coming from. So we're actually going to take a deeper approach than most people are taking. Most people are just doing like reaction videos. We're actually going to show you a little bit of the context of why this matters. We're doing a response video. This beef goes all the way back to Control or before, right? Like Drake and Kendrick and, you know, the whole kind of sphere of people have been running it for a while. And there's been a, a healthy brotherhood, a healthy competition, which I think honestly is necessary. Great. Yeah, I think is necessary. That's, in, that's, that's the DNA of hip hop is competition. Yeah, in, in any honestly sport, which I think hip hop is, it's like mm -hmm. there should be a level of competition. So all, all the way back in, I think, 2013, there was a verse that Kendrick dropped on Big Sean, rest in peace. Not actually, <laughs> <laughs> but on Big Sean's song, uh, Control. Damn, that was a Big Sean song yeah i know I, damn I, 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 rest I know, in just, peace just my nigga jesus just, 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 i think of that as a kendrick song uh, I, I felt that when oh, you said that. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. That's, so anyways we're gonna we're gonna take you through the history and we're gonna bring you up to today because a lot of y'all niggas ain't up to speed but you've been doing speed your whole life it's disgusting all right so kendrick lamar or i was about to say kendrick lamar featuring big sean damn jesus big sean that's what it is in that, your head though i know i know that's what it is in the history i know i know that's what it is in the zeitgeist jesus. man i deserve to be here because i signed big sean <laughs> It's like Renegade when Jay Z made a song with Eminem and Eminem just like completely just obliterated rushed. him. But Jesus it's like that. It's, it's like but at least Jay Z. You know, we know Jay Z has a he has a stature where he can't, can't be fucked with. Can't be touched. Yeah, but yeah. Big Sean doesn't have that. Yeah. For people who don't really understand what we're talking about, mm -hmm. in other words, the Caucasians. Sometimes somebody comes on board a song where it's just like it's my song now. It's like a nigga walk in your house and it's like, hey, this my bitch now. It's, it's like, like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, un understandable shit. Uh, that makes sense that makes sense i'm sorry sir <laughs> um and that's what happened honestly on this control verse so we're gonna go mm -hmm. back to that to give a little context and we're gonna go to, to today and we're gonna see today's verse cool no offense but i'm gonna skip big sean's part <laughs> that goes for jamaico big crit while lay mm -hmm. push your tea meat meals asap rocky drink mm. big sean j electron oh, mm. mm. i got love for you all but i'm trying to murder you niggas mm. jesus that's hip-hop baby jesus. that's hip-hop man a lot of times in rap, mm -hmm. there's like, you know, subtle bars, like subliminal. Yeah. You're referencing some niggas, right? Yeah. But this nigga literally went on the song and was like, You? You? <laughs> you? <laughs> right? you? The nigga who brought me on the song? Right? You? Like, you? You? government names on this shit. Like, yeah. you know the metaphor we, we talked about earlier is like, you go in somebody's house and you like, fuck his woman. This is like, you go in somebody's house, you fuck his woman, and while you're fucking her, you say, and say that nigga's name. Yeah, you cucked him. Jeez. You just cucked him. Christ. Funnily enough, this is actually not 
I wouldn't even put it in top ten of Kendrick's verses just mm-hmm. lyrically. Mm-hmm. It's the energy, it's the energy, and it's how direct energy. he was. Because no one's it's direct. All, it's, uh, yeah, right? it's no one's direct. No one, no one, no one names names, which is kind of ridiculous. Which is kind of yeah, weird. It's like, 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 like you say you know? Yeah, say what Kendrick is like, he'll just like come off the the mountaintop every one, every every few years and be like, Yo, I'm the best. Not Drake, not Kanye, not Big Sean, and he'll do it on the niggas' own song. Rip niggas. I love it. So, anyways, I remember when that verse like. It literally just felt like everybody's like hands was on the head for like ten minutes. It was just like everybody was just like, Jesus he did Christ! That. Like he did that, right? I, and I, it, hold on, I, let's talk about the fact that he did that. What does that indicate? It indicates you're so confident in your craft. Say, confidence. You're confidence. so confident in your craft. You will explicitly call out the competition. Yeah, that's what it means. Like there's certain people like. Um, did he call out Eminem on this? No, I, I think he wouldn't do that. That's I like think. the only one. <laughs> no, actually, like, no, he said Eminem. He said, he said Eminem. he's the best. Who's the best MC? Oh, he's yeah. like, I'm among. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah like the yeah. certain, the certain, the certain MCs who are just unfuckwithable. Like yeah, yeah. no one's ever gonna go at Eminem. His yeah. fucking beard is weird. Yeah, yeah. Not even Kendrick's yeah, gonna go at Eminem. Yeah, yeah. But the confidence for Kendrick would be like, I will go at each one of you because I actually know that I'm better. I know where I stand. I actually yeah. know that I'm better. Yeah, like yeah. come at me. Yeah. And and no, I don't think anyone responded to him. Would you? Like you, no, none you, of these. People, you better write the verse of your life. If, if you're calling yourself go, if you're Drake, you, you, you better should've. call up fucking Martin Luther King <laughs> speechwriter, nigga. <because laughs> no. Who's the ghostwriter that uh, Drake had? Oh damn! So I feel like you're still battling these ghostwriting rumors and this type of thing. I will pay you double, don't, don't triple, don't break ten that. times. Don't break that. Those, those are allegations that were refuted. Music is a collaborative. Thing. Drake, no, I got, no, it's I, not true. He wasn't. He no, did it, have to go it was right, refuted. No? It was refuted. Okay, no, no, like, no. I'm not going to jail. I'm not going to look at the yeah. correct. I'm not going to jail for this. <laughs> more worried about talking about this than COVID. Uh, he's yeah. like, he's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, these are some things I don't want to touch. Right, <laughs> Third real issue. <laughs> <laughs> like COVID, I'll say it's a conspiracy all day. But you know, Aubrey Wright is on bars. Whatever, whatever gets you to that destination where you have, you know, a great body of work. If you need somebody to write the whole thing. I'm sorry, I got a family, dog. I got a, I got a family, man. That is hilarious content. Man. If you get that joke, you fucking, you get the show. All right, so that happened, right? And I, honestly, you know, we, we reference, I love this shit. Shout out to the culture, for the culture. Wake up, culture. There is a, a, a clip I saw of Kobe the other day. He was like uh, at the free throw line. It was a big game, whatever. And then some nigga was like, I don't know, from the side or from a team's like, you ain't gonna make it. You ain't gonna make it. And there's you see on the video, Kobe looks over, he's like, I'm not. I put five hundred thousand on it. He put for real in mid game. Pra- and he it says, was a practice or an NBA game. This was a game, nigga. Ooh! Like that. That's this is my dick. It's on the table. Count the veins, nigga. Yeah. It's on the table. And come then, on, nigga man. said I'm put five hundred thousand on it. Looked up, shot it, and then just scored. And then looked at the nigga, and just got back on defense. <laughs> it's just like damn. Go. That, that nigga just had, That's to, goat had to call Wells Fargo yeah. like, hey man, there's a big transaction yeah. coming down. <laughs> right? that, you know you're a goat when you call your shots and you make them. And which is what is happening right here. Mm-hmm. He's like, hey, you, you and you. He's like, step up, who? Like, yeah, who? yeah, yeah, it's just. Confidence. If there's no, if there's, Did if, he call you, out Kanye? if you don't care, no, no, no. You but Kanye is a different category. Yeah, I, I don't really consider Kanye a rapper, and he, I mean that in the most respectful a, way. Yeah, he's a hip hop artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's he's an artist. Yeah, yeah. I love y'all, man, and I love me. Even if you don't fuck with hip hop, I don't care. That's irrelevant. Take this in as a lesson in confidence, mm-hmm. in like stepping up, putting your shit on the fucking table, and being like, I own this. This is my fucking game. Mm-hmm. Nobody's touching me. So, anyways. Before we, you know, I wanna, I wanna drum this up. I don't wanna make it dramatic. So obviously, you know, Drake responded to the control verse a couple years ago. With, with what? With pros. Yeah. With, yeah, with media with, comments. With, inter- yeah, yeah, yeah. with interviews. Yeah, 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 with podcasts yeah, 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 yeah. and appearances. He, he knows his lane. He knows his no lane. No bars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, no bars. I mean, what just, does that say about I'm, the man? I mean. Don't look at me, nigga. I'm, I'm third rail. Third rail. <laughs> I, I'm just reporting facts. I'm, I'm just saying, like, look, you... Hey, Aubrey, I just pull up the slides. Like, <laughs> I don't really have an opinion it, on it that. All, it, it's like, uh, it reminds me of when, you remember the whole Drake, Meek Mill, yeah, obviously, that was uh, back-to-back. A moment so, for the... So I wish Drake, we had a show back then. We was, yeah, we yeah no. Violent. So, so here's, here's the thing. Drake... Drake did what he's supposed to do as a rapper, which just, is son Meek Mill, yeah, yeah, and put him yeah, in his yeah, place. Yeah. But then Pusha hit him. Yeah, but that's and, also because Drake oh. was like, "Yo, it's, it's Meek Mill." So I, yeah, yeah I, exactly. I, I, I no, can so you can see he's calculating. He's like, <laughs> yeah. "Where am I relative to I, this I, man?" I you know? this yeah, yeah. yeah, but then Pusha T came at him, and Pusha T is a he's an MC. He's yeah, vicious. Yeah, you know? he, he was a sniper. Yeah, he's like he's like he was like, and that nigga <laughs> has a son. Don't talk to my man like that. But like next day, Drake comes out with a media release. I'd like to address a comment by Pusha T. 
<laughs> they come out with like the Iron Man press con. I am Iron Man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No bars. It's like, all right, this is not the top of bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, it's, uh, it's like it's at the end publicist. of the day, everybody, <laughs> there's a top for bars, then there's a top for PR. You yeah. know? <laughs> like the every, bars are PR. Yeah, yeah. You, everybody, you got to know your place. You got to know your place. And yeah. I, I never heard uh, Kendrick release no PR statement. No, nah, he's like, we'll, we'll put it on I'll wax. Care. Yeah, I'll take we'll care of it. Put it on wax right yeah, now. Give me a beat, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Anyways, so this is a little post 11 years ago. Responding with media comments rather than bars, but whatever. Mm -hmm. So this is what Drake said. He is the underdog that's extremely hungry. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's like those things you say to somebody when you're like just trying to get in. You know, he's, he's on his way. You know? Yeah. He's son of them. Uh, yeah, he's trying to say. That verse was, he's giving people like moments, you know, like that, that verse mm. was a, a moment to talk about. Um, are you listening to it now at this point in time? Okay. And then, <laughs> but it was, it was real cool for like, you know, a couple yeah, weeks. Like, but like, if I asked you, for example, like, how does that verse start? Mm, okay. You know what? I, that was actually a masterclass. It was, in, it was in, 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 well in, done. Well in, done. In yeah. politician, politician PR yeah, speak. Yeah, 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 he yeah, actually yeah. did a good job. He was basically, it's like, it's like the 49th law of power. Like, <laughs> Like <laughs> when a nigga tries to sun you, don't even acknowledge him. No, 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 it's no, like, no. oh, he's a young upstart. He's, yeah, he's doing great. Yeah. yeah, but that was 11 years ago. It's a different story now. And that brings us to today, March 22nd, 2024, and the drama continues. You Out haven't, you haven't heard it. Too. You haven't heard it. I haven't heard oh, it. Oh, shit. Out of nowhere, too. Kendrick drops a verse midnight last night. Nigga, Drake was still getting the fucking crust out his fucking eye. Wake up like, oh, shit. Like, move bitches out of his bed. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I work to do it. Call my ghostwriter. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Aubrey. It's cool. It's fun. Again, it's yeah. cool for like memes and people that want to laugh and all that dumb shit. Respect to the song. Like the song does slap. Like, of course. So I'm not even skipping the rest Bro, of the song. Yeah, that's like, redundant. It's future Metro. Uh, okay. Of course this, it slaps. All right. So, uh, Mark, can you real quick on, just put the definition of a dick rider. Come on, like, man. <laughs> real quick. Just, just put it right uh, there. Uh, side by side with hater. Mm. And you just put his face. You don't even need a de the words. It's like, just a certified hater. Dick Backpacking rider. Hater. Dick rider. No condom. So I'm going to pull up the, the Kendrick verse, mm -hmm. right? You have to listen real close to like hear yeah, exactly yeah, yeah, what yeah. he's saying. Just for context, because I want you to hear the verse properly. Mm -hmm. Think about first person shooter, right? And that, like the J. Cole joint? The J. Cole and Drake. Zone, okay. Right? Yep. That, that, first of all, we already had disagreements on that. You was like, this is a banger. I was like, this is trash. This is me. It's this definitely is, not trash. Bro. This, it's somewhere in between. <laughs> it's it, like, it, we're right. both being hyperbolic. Come it, on. It's, it's in this recycling bin. At the end of the day, it's like a fucking like Christmas carol because it just, it just they just made it because they know niggas is going to listen to it. They know it's going to be hot and they made it. They went on tour. Nah, on nah. It, they so. had some moments. They had some moments. Anyways, beat that's it, the nigga. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. <laughs> beating his fucking dick to Drake. <laughs> that was an obvious beat joke. It, come it, on, man. Come on, I do it for the people. <laughs> beat a nigga. Let's go, you fucking play the song, bro. Niggas clicking up, but it cannot be legit. No 40 water. Tell him. Aww. Yeah, yeah, get up with me. Fuck sneak this and first person shoot it. Come on, that's what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> Think I won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me. Hey. <laughs> That's hip hop, man. God, yes. Jesus Thank you for Christ. people who still understand Ugh. the DNA of hip hop. Christ. It's not album sales. It's not hit records. It's moments like this, bro. God Says damn, I love it. The Negro that loves melody rap. And I love that shit as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So I'm sweating now. It's Let's like, go. It just, that was. It just, it just got hot in here, Ooh. ladies and gentlemen. What? Okay. That that God felt like damn. the that felt like the. Um, it's the energy, the opening shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah a yeah. shot across the bow. It's just like, if you uh, just were. so you know, nigga, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I've been listening. I'm not I'm impressed. <laughs> Step up. Yeah, yeah, for real. Oh, this yeah, is. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Kenny. Yeah, yeah. Thank so, you, Kenny. I hope, yeah, you know, everybody's at, you know, at work right now, punching numbers and whatever. Drake is in the studio sweating. This, this nigga's <laughs> like, like fuck. pulling up. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> like, this guy's off his rocker. I just. I don't know what to say. <laughs> no, not that one. <laughs> what rhymes with fuck? I'm shit out of luck. Uh, fuck. Uh, uh, damn. Damn. You like Duckworth. <laughs> damn. Jeez. Man came off Rubber that. Duckworth. Up, like, oh, oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Drake, you need a ghost writer, nigga. Say, Drake watching this like, damn, that shit hard. <laughs> In the song with J. Cole, he, uh, J. Cole literally says the big three. It's, it's is it K. Me. Dot? Is it Aubrey or me? Is it me? Right. And mm -hmm. nigga literally said, "Motherfuck, the big three. It's, it's just me. me. It's just me. It's like, damn. He's a one person out of the three who could actually say, say that. that. Yeah. I'm like, 
Oh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can yeah, see yeah. that. Yeah. I can see that. Like J. Cole can't say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Do, he doesn't have the the the. He, what is it that Cole's missing? Energy. Isn't yeah, it? he's he's missing the energy. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. superstar like, energy. Yeah, that, honestly, that transcends the genre. J. Cole has bars, uh-huh. but like this, even though like the, all the lyrics. I'm, first of all, I don't even get all the lyrics, just mm-hmm. to be honest. But like, it's the, the rawness. You you just, you mm-hmm. just feel like. It's just that God energy. Yeah, that's you, it's, it's, it's like it's, energy, it's like it's like like Kanye is all God energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love Christ. Yeah. You know, Kendrick has bursts of God, God yeah, energy, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Drake is just more like you know he's like he's playing it safe relative yeah, yeah, to where yeah, yeah, he yeah. has God energy, yeah, yeah. but he's kind of he's yeah. kind of like he's tamping to make it down. Sure the Taylor Swift he, fans still fuck with it. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's because literally if, what it is. Yeah, because yeah. If, if he comes out with that God energy, the Taylor Swift yeah. fans. Will, I, this song just makes me feel scared. And that's my problem with Drake. I feel like he's playing it safe and he hides behind metrics. Yeah. When he's missing the art, the artistry. Man. Right. And and it's like honestly, if I'm a nigga who's like in you know tier two or like bottom of tier one, whatever, it's like, and I'm making you know ten million dollars a year. I'm not making Drake numbers. I'm mm-hmm. like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about your metrics. Like it's mm-hmm. like bar up, nigga. Yeah. Like come on, like yeah. it, it's still a sport at the end of the day. Yeah. And, and there was a time when the metrics didn't matter because the metrics weren't there. Yeah. Exactly. So right. Like, like in the like, days yeah. of Biggie and Pac, no one was talking about no. metrics. It's like, it's like I, who's I the best? Your bitch. And like, yeah, like Jesus. <laughs> you fat motherfucker. First of all, fuck your bitch in the click you claim. Oh, oh, oh damn, Like that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we still need that. I'm glad hip hop's mainstream, but we still need that. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. honestly, if we don't. Don't, like the bar's just gonna get lower and lower and, yep. it, and it's gonna keep being like you know uh kiki do you love me it's like at the end of the day come on bro like it's good it's not enough though. yeah i ain't gonna fuck your bitch to that like, come on like i don't fuck your bitch like fuck the big three nigga. Like, <laughs> damn to wrong. this yeah nigga fuck the big three it says big me yeah. <laughs> oh you are you also big yeah yeah you're right you're right yeah. Uh, so yeah i mean it's just and also there's so at the end of the day i think this is actually bigger than rap I think this is actually bigger than J. Cole. I think it's bigger than Drake. It's bigger bigger. than mankind. Yeah, I I think this is honestly like art and how we make better art is like, yo, sometimes nigga look at your shit like, that's what you work for, cuz? Bro, actually, I think uh, Michelangelo and uh, Da Vinci were contemporaries. Yeah. uh, Who was it? Which one was it? One of these- pull up that Harvard degree real quick. We going historical. One of these big Renaissance artists, um, Michelangelo made fun of him. He basically said bar up. <laughs> he's like, he's like, you're not that good, actually. Damn. <laughs> they were savage back then, bro. And, and I don't think that's a bad thing. Bro. That's great. Honestly, like, first of all, I don't really think that we have competition yet because niggas are still, you know, they're on the wave. I can't but, even imagine what that would look like. Yeah, but if there's some corny ass, light skinned nigga, some like fucking brutish, ashy ass, dark skinned nigga <laughs> who's trying to start a talk show who thinks that they can come up on us, yo, drop come some on, bar, nigga. cuz. Come on, nigga. Drop it, nigga. Come on. Let's see what you got. Let's cause. see your comedic come cultural on. commentary. You got that? I find myself holding my dick for no reason. <laughs> Just like, come on, cuz. Let's go. I also thought to myself, oh, this is Drake's moment. If you think you're the GOAT, this is he's he's saying I'm inviting you into the into it's the a, fucking cage. It's an opportunity. This yeah. is the opportunity. Like seriously, like if you step up to this, damn bro. Every you, everything, all your all your past mediocre albums, they're forgiven in my eyes. Seriously, if he comes, if, 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 if he if he sons, bar, yeah, yeah, if yeah, he bars up, if, yeah, if he yeah. bars up and he sons Kendrick, yeah, yeah it's a wrap. Yeah, 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 you're the best. You're the the best of the generation. Goat is kind of hard, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but sure, I, I think I'll give it to him. You know. I know we're kind of like taking Kendrick's eye right now, but a little bit of empathy for Aubrey right now, because nigga was just, he just woke up in Turks and Caicos with like 17 Moroccan women on him, and he was like, I thought I was good, bro. Like, I was, I was like, oh, God, all right. I'm gonna go to work and shit. Geez. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't ask on for this. On a Friday, yeah, nigga. It's Friday, dog. Like, come on, man. So yeah. uh, there is a little bit of empathy of like, damn, nigga. Like, nah, but he keeps calling himself the GOAT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you, so you gotta be ready to defend yeah, at all times. At, at all costs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you're gonna say you the one, then cool. You gotta, yeah, be you gotta, the one. You gotta defend it. Mm-hmm. So Kendrick's I'm gonna, like, I'm not convinced. I'm gonna look y'all in your eye right now and let you know that this show, we are the ones. So any corny ass niggas, I don't know what what, he, what is his name? Kamari and Aizen, nigga out there who they they they, they, they can compete with us. Look at me. Str- <laughs> look at me. I am the goat now. I am the goat. Not you. Ho ass nigga. I hope one day, 20, 10 years from now, someone pulls out that clip. I'm ready. Sample me, nigga. Sample, <laughs> Sample me, cuz. I'm chilling. I'm look, good. Look, look, look at me. I, 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 I. Metro Boomin wants oh, yeah. some more. Like. <laughs> Metro Boomin's like 60 years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, thank you for reporting in live to For the Culture. Um, I'm very glad we talked about this today. I think it was something we needed. This to is crucial. Yeah. So yeah, I think this is more important than anything else we could talk about today. Thank y'all for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Is there anything you want to say to close this out? Is there anything you want to say to Kendrick? Is there anything you want to say to J. Cole? Anything you want to say to Drake? 
Let the games begin, motherfuckers. Oh, shit. Ding, ding, nigga. <laughs> ding, ding. Ready to rumble. y'all checking in real quick i know you thought the video was over but it's not over until the fat lady sings or your bitch comes oh, oh wild. Right. <laughs> i'm wild go ahead you, you hi if you like this content please don't forget to like and subscribe Thanks. yeah come on y'all just watching these videos y'all just getting shit for free this ain't how it work out here man i got bills you see this fireplace shit expensive uh, this, this, this nigga's entitled man <laughs> thank you for your like and subscribe just press the button press the button